Hello everybody, today I have six Spring and Easter freehand nail art designs. This is an easy nail art compilation, so let's get started. For this first design, I did three crosses, the middle cross which represents the crucifixion of Jesus, and the other two crosses represent the two thieves that were crucified next to Jesus. And I just wanted to do this cross design just to represent what the true meaning of Easter is, which is Christ dying on the cross for our sins. So for this design, I did a ombre or a gradient. So I'm just taking a makeup sponge and painting three colors on there, an orange, a yellow, and a blue. And I'm just going to tap the sponge over my white base until it's fully opaque. Just repeat this process over again until I like the gradient. Then I'm taking a thin striping brush and some black acrylic paint and just painting kind of like a hill on my nail. And this can be in any shape that you want. And I'm gonna take the same thin striping brush and just carefully draw a cross on top of the hill. And I'm just gonna repeat this cross design on my middle finger and on my pinky and I'm gonna leave my index finger blank just with the gradient and if you used acrylic paint make sure you use a top coat to seal in the design because if you don't it will wash off the next design is this mini carrot design. So I'm taking some orange acrylic paint and a flat nail art brush and just drawing these oval shapes spaced out around my nail. And once those are dry, I'm going to take some green acrylic paint and a large dotting tool to create the leaves of the carrot. And after that, I'm going to take that thin striping brush and dip it in some yellow acrylic paint and just draw two stripes on each carrot. This doesn't have to be perfect. It kind of gives it like a cartoon carrot look. And again, make sure to apply a top coat over this to prevent your design from washing off. And that is it. Have a cute little mini carrot nail design. This is the third design. It's a French tip manicure with some spring flowers. I have these curved nail vinyls that I'm using, but you don't have to use these. Or if you have the round paper reinforcers, those will also work as a nail vinyl. But the nail vinyls I used weren't very good. They didn't stick very well, so it's not like a perfect curve. But that's okay because we're covering it with flowers. And this design is really simple. 
you just take a small dotting tool and make five dots with different colors to make different colored flowers. Um, I'm taking acrylic paint again. I like to use acrylic paint when you do nail designs. It's easier to me than using nail polish. So the flowers don't look as neat as they could because I'm, e because I'm using my left hand to do them. And I didn't show this on camera, but I just took a white and placed it in the middle of each flower. And I applied top coat. So this design is one of my favorites. It's just Easter eggs hiding in grass. So here I'm just showing you some of the acrylic paints I used for this manicure. These acrylic paints can be picked up from Walmart for like 50 cents a piece. So they're very cheap and they last forever if you're just using them for nail art. So again, I'm taking that thin striping brush and just making short, thin strokes to represent the grass. And I'm using two color greens here. I'm using a darker green and a lighter green to create some dimension. And then I'm gonna grab a small dotting tool and create different color circles to represent the Easter eggs. So I have yellow, pink, and purple. I wish I would have used a lighter purple or mixed some white in the purple that I had to make it a little bit more spring-like, but that's okay. So after I paint the eggs, allow them to dry completely, and then I'm going to draw some more grass on top of the eggs to make it look like they're kind of hiding behind the grass. So just do the same technique as before, short thin strokes of grass. You don't want to do too much because you'll completely cover the egg. But that's it, super simple but cute design. So here's another spring design. I used striping tape for this one and I remembered how much I hate using striping tape. <laughs> it's so thin and breaks very easily. After I get the striping tape in the position I want, I'm just taking some light pastel nail polishes and painting within the lines of the striping tape. And I had to apply two coats of the polish so it could be completely opaque. And I don't think I removed the striping tape as quickly as I should have, but the line still came out pretty straight for the most part. So after you remove the striping tape, you can leave the design like this. It looks really cute, but I took some white acrylic paint and created kind of a half moon at the bottom of my nail. So I just kind of freehanded this half moon circle, but if you wanted the lines to be more crisp and even, you can use nail vinyls again and that'll create that perfect shape but I just didn't feel like doing that and I ended this design by using a scattered holographic top coat and I can't do a nail art compilation without doing a water marble so for the last design I did a spring water marble so I used four colors from KB Shimmer, a light green, a pink, a yellow, and a coral. 
And I'm just creating my bullseye. So I'm taking my water marble tool that I got from What's Up Nails. If you don't have a water marble tool, you can also use a toothpick. I'm just creating the design in the water. And I'm going to dip my index finger, my middle finger, and my ring finger at the same time. And then I'm going to repeat the same process and dip my other two nails. But I won't, I won't show you that process because you get the point. And that's it. That is my nail art compilation for spring and Easter. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like the video and comment down below which design was your favorite. And I'll see you soon. Bye.